Hello everybody, welcome to a contest entry for everybody's good friend Mike over at MGK Boston. Uh, Mike is one of the nicest guys out there. Um, a channel that I got into probably not quite a year ago now, um, but Mike is just one of the nicest guys. He has just a great collection. He's always just a really positive guy. He's always talking about, you know, what he's doing on a Friday night, showing us his uh, collections, some records that he's spending. That's usually when he takes care of a lot of his uh, loose ends uh, for YouTube. He does contest entries on Fridays. He does threads. He, he does recent finds. He has a beer um, and he talks about what he has going on up in Boston. Um, and another great thing about Mike, uh, like myself, he is a New England Patriots fan. Um, although Mike and I have not really talked about the Patriots uh, in the last year for obvious reasons. But Mike has a contest with his wife, Patty, who um, kind of designed this with him. Or she, I think she might have did everything, and Mike was just kind of along for the ride. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, they are kind of doing a Valentine's um, slash push to a million subscribers contest. Um, and they want us to show uh, three wedding songs. Sorry, I've got a hair in my eye. Apologize. Um three wedding songs and they can be songs that we would like at our wedding songs that you know we you know usually hear at a wedding i've seen people show songs that are usually like at, they're in like the dance or like the the cocktail hour i've seen you know people take it serious i've seen people you know do this and that um those that know me i am not a married man uh that is not currently in my uh distant i mean current what's, what's the word it is not currently in my realm at the moment to be married um i'll leave it at that um but no i am not a married man um hopefully one day but we shall see uh but i have three three songs here um two are songs that i want played at my wedding and then the third um is a story about a buddy of mine from college um, the first that I want at my wedding, I think this has been shown, it's my favorite song of all time. That's God Only Knows by the Beach Boys. It's, in my opinion, the greatest song ever. Um, Brian Wilson, it's just him at his absolute peak, which is crazy to think because he was 24 years old when he was recording this album. And, you know, this was the turning point of the, of the Beach Boys career, like the major turning point. I mean, albums before you could say were turning points, but this was the album that separated them from their early work. Uh, just an absolute jaw dropper of a song. It's just a beautiful song. And I know that it had a lot of flack because in the sixties, having the word God in a, a song was semi controversial because it seemed it could be sacrilegious. It could be, you know, like, like a, a, it could be a bad thing. And um, again, it's one of those songs where like the first line of this love song is I may not always love you just beautiful but you know but then you're saying you know god only knows what i'd be without you like i would be just this terrible person if i didn't have you in my life i just think it's an absolute tearjerker it's beautiful it's harmonious and it's song number one for me song number two i also want at my future wedding um it is by the zombies from their album odyssey and oracle and it's the song this will be our year um i absolutely love this song it's pure you know, lovey-dovey, two-minute sunshine, bliss, um, just the beautiful vocals of uh, Colin Blundstone, accompanied by Rod Argent. It's it's just, I don't know, it's just a perfect little love song. Um, the warmth of your love is like the warmth of the sun. This will be our year. It took a long time to come. I know it's been played at several, um, I mean, many weddings. I've seen the zombies. I saw the zombies in 2014, and they talked about it being played at a wedding. Um, I think Colin Blundstone played it at his son's wedding or one of the members of the band's wedding. I think it was his son's wedding. He sang it, um, which is awesome. And um, I just, it's just an absolute beautiful little song. So this will be Our Year by the Zombies, song number two for my wedding in the future. Uh, song number three, this is going to be dedicated to my buddy Chris, who I've mentioned a few times um, from college. Uh, Chris is, you know, he, he, he and I have a very similar musical taste um, in that, you know, we can talk about these deep cuts for hours and hours. And one of the early songs that we um, bonded over in college when, you know, we were 
uh, early in our friendship was the last song from Planet Waves, which is by Bob Dylan, which is called The Wedding Song. And it is just Bob on the guitar. Uh, I love the song because you can hear the, I think they're um, deer antler buttons that are hit clacking up against the guitar um, on on that track. And it's just a beautiful song. Um, and I know Chris was always talking about in college. Um, he would always say, he's like, you know, I hope I meet a girl that makes me feel the way that that song does. And, you know, fast forward to 2020, he got married um, to his wife. Uh, and it was one of those weddings that was, you know, very much downsized because of COVID. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, Chris, whenever he watches this, because he watches my videos, um, he, I think, because I, at, at that point, guests were no longer allowed to come. It was immediate family. I was originally going to be in the wedding. Um, and a lot of other friends from college were going to be in the wedding, but again, it was very much downsized because it was May of 2020. And, um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Chris put wedding song on their, uh, playlist. Um, it was like the background dinner music. So, um, Chris, this one's for you, buddy. Uh, wedding song, Mike, you're a great guy. Everybody go subscribe to Mike. I'm going to have his contest video below in the description and, um, the other thing is if you're within a hundred miles or no, if you're, if you're, if you're within an hour of the, the greater Boston area where Mike is from, um, he will hand deliver a cheesecake made by his wife, Patty. So you new Englanders have an extra treat, uh, if you end up winning. So Mike, thanks for putting the contest on. You're the best man. And, um, everybody go subscribe to his channel in the meantime, y'all be good. Take care. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.